Yo, what's up guys? How you doing? Goldbreath here once more and here we are at a different video I would say because this is not gonna be an episode of farming sessions or even the uh, Dofus from scratch, you know? I mean this is part of the Dofus from scratch history, but um, this will be just a, a video for the channel for you guys to know that um, I've been grinding some resources to get some better gear so um, I was actually experimenting here a different way to edit the videos and I would really really like to know if you like this version if you're enjoying the content I've been noticing that um, I'm not receiving that feedback from you guys so I would strongly ask you to do so to go in the comments and just let me know what you think about this and to just tell me if you're liking the content so far and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel just to help me grow up a little bit more you know so well in this episode I was killing a lot of cobbles because um, I was level for 30 something 38 I think I don't really remember and so I said like hey Peewee is just level 12 so I need a better gear well at the beginning I thought um, that it was good to wear the gobble set like the plain one but then I realized that I actually had a enough level to um, wear the royal gobble set so I said why not right I needed to try it out and that's why I'm here at uh, Tainella just farming some gobbles some gobblies and just to show you guys that uh, I think I've been improving the way I combat because um, it's actually the first time that I actually play with these four characters. I used to play with Kra, Iop, Anirips, and Pandawa. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I can handle myself pretty well with them, but uh, this team is a little bit different. It's, uh, it's been a little bit tricky, and I know that it's just super low level, but um, it's been fun though. It's been really funny. So here I am at the Royal Gobble dungeon. This is actually the second dungeon I run in this channel. The first one was Incarnams. Remember that, that we needed to defeat these skeletons. Now we go for the sheeps, which are called gobbles, but they're bl blah, 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 blah. Beep, beep. <laughs> but they're basically sheeps right so I, I just wanted to show you a little bit of combat because I know that I've been omitting certain stuff just to try to make the videos a little bit funnier but I thought that I could give this uh, forum at a chance in which I basically describe what is happening describe what I'm feeling about this project because I consider this is a project I have you know YouTube has been like something that uh, I think I was 14 or 15 years old when I started watching like Dofu series on YouTube and I said you know what I really want to do this sometime in the future the thing was that by that time, I think I mentioned this before, I didn't really have a good computer. I was running just one account. Um, just to let you guys know how bad it was, the processor was a Pentium R, and I had it had like uh, one or two gigabytes of RAM. So <laughs> you can imagine how bad it was but then here I started working 
um, I found a really good job and then I started like saving some money so I thought I could get a better computer and I just did it and uh, for this precise reason now I'm able to actually upload videos edit videos record videos and I took the the path of trying to be a youtuber I made this decision to just upload content and I know that it's gonna be and it has been difficult it's like a challenge because there's a lot of competition but you know what guys I think that this is something I know this is tricky it's difficult because of the competition but at the same time it's like we're not really competing because we have different styles and I don't know about you but I really like when a new content creator starts a series for any kind of game including Duffus because they basically bring us different perspectives you know it's like different ways to make commas talking about Duffus different combination of characters if they are playing multiple account multiple accounts sorry and so on and so forth talking about professions i would say that every single person has like uh, a personal way to level them up so it's like really good information that you could get from watching different youtubers so i wouldn't really consider it's like a competition it's just that of course, you, you will need to decide if you're going to watch my videos or any other guy's videos. But, well, here you have mine. So, that was just a little speech. Now, I'm going to talk about the video. Because I did a couple of interesting things here. Um, here you have the Royal Gobble. At the beginning, I thought that I could not defeat him because um, this is a... It's a tough fight if you don't have the proper equipment, which I didn't have. Again, I was wearing Peewee set, and I thought that it could be a little bit tricky. But if you play well, like if you pay attention to details and stuff, you will be able to succeed at any kind of combat in this game. Because remember that Duffus is a strategy game. It's not like you just have a cheat or something like that because every single time that we have a cheat on a combat and Kama notices it and they just modify the situation so as you can see here I started like using the traps in a really cool position a really cool way like making those uh, roller coasters they call I don't know how they call them actually in which you make like a combo with the traps I was really getting good with the hopper match knowing these combinations, these elemental combinations and stuff. Um, the Fogger now was getting a little bit better just because I'm um, learning how to really play the turrets and use them in my favor. So, yeah, I've been learning a lot. As you will see here, um, what I like about the Hopper Mage is that you, all, you have a lot of spells that um, act on AOE, which is like area of effect, which is good because you can take uh, like multiple monsters at a time. Um, I didn't really know that until I started playing with this character and I found it really, really interesting. So, in my plans is going to be to have him multi elemental. Um, uh, so far I was using strength and intelligence, but intelligence was not like the best one because I didn't really have intelligence But it's gonna get better. I promise that for that reason I wanted to use the royal gobble set because it's mainly strength But you also have a little bit of intelligence So here after killing hundreds of gobbles, you can see that I got some resources um, I was really focused on the expensive ones because I wanted to craft the set. Now, um, I realized that my professions were not um, high enough, so I needed to level them up. 
and I took advantage of some resources that I had left over from my previous combats with the peewees and the incarnate creatures. So I did exactly that. Level up my professions. So that's jeweler. Then I started leveling up Taylor uh, with the peewee capes. So remember that uh, I had a lot of bones and peewee feathers of all colors because we needed to kill more than 250 peewees to be able to level up Hunter to level 20. So yeah, um, thanks to that, I had enough resources to level my professions up. This was uh, the shoemaker that was not really that difficult and in this part I started crafting the royal gobble set. Now, I crafted two parts of each because I thought that I was really needing the royal gobble set just for um, Galbraith and Grelka. I was actually planning to get different sets for the other characters but well, I changed my mind. Here you can see me buying certain resources that I couldn't drop from the previous session of combats and I decided that since I had enough money and you can see that I have more than 200,000 camas, um, I decided to buy these resources. So now here we are crafting the amulet and the rings. Now. I crafted four rings this time because I don't know if you know this but the rings give you vitality and damage so I thought that they could be really good. I also noticed that uh, my tailor was not leveled up enough so I needed to craft a couple of capes and when I say a couple you know what I mean. <laughs> I took it too far leveling up all the way up to 38 yes sir. All right. So making some progress over here. Now I had two sets of the Royal Gobble. Um, in the beginning, I didn't really craft the sword because I was planning to craft a different weapon. Because remember that we are hunters, so we need to be able to drop the meat from the monsters. So I spotted a weapon that gives you around 6% of critical hit and it's also a haunting weapon and you will see that soon enough because I was like in a debate of um, either to uh, make it or not so yep there you have it royal global set right now now this was something really cool because it gives you a lot of vitality, a lot of strength, and also a little bit of intelligence. So it was possible for me now to just go both strength and intelligence. As you can see here, this is one of the rings I wanted to craft, and this is the second one. But I was thinking that these resources were super, super expensive. So. Then I took a look at the Illuminates, the Alloys. I needed some of them, but I didn't really, I didn't really have enough copper to crop them. So I decided to buy ten, and then sell the rest because I noticed that there was a price difference, and this happens a lot, all right? So you need to take advantage of it to make some profit. I will explain you that later in a video. I'm preparing right now but well yeah this was the first time I was crafting alloys I got two levels of miner and these are the swords that I will be using now um, after I realized that the best thing for me could be to create the sets I just did that and now you can see that well Basically, all of my characters are wearing now the Royal Gobble set, and all of them are now attacking with both strength and intelligence. So, we're kind of mastering the earth and fire uh, elements right now. 
So after that, I, I've always thought that the best way to test the set is not by killing Peewees, but by going to a cool dungeon. And I know that this one is not like the worst scenario, but I really wanted to get the achievements. So for that reason, I visited this one and also to get some resources from it because I had some plans of mine that you will see in future videos and yep so here we are at the sunflowers barn we need to kill the sunflower so we need to defeat it we need to burn it man we need to get every single flower from this place well guys, I just wanted to kind of let you know that I'll keep uploading this kind of content for a while and I'm planning to pay the subscription because as soon as I finish Astro, I will need it. So I was thinking that I maybe could get the camas out of the game to pay the subscription, but then I thought that it could take a lot of time. You will know this for certain in the future because uh, as I mentioned before, I'm preparing a video talking about camas and it's gonna be precisely that, how to make camas in Dofus at low levels because there's a lot of guides on how to make camas and they're still working, but it's like, People focus on high levels, like end, end game levels. I, did, I don't really like to focus on those levels because I've always thought that, I mean, yeah, they're fun, but um, I'm not the type of person that just grinds experience and uh, get like, I don't know, to level 200 in one week. No, no, no. I don't like to do that because I feel that you, you don't really enjoy the game. So, as you can see here in the video, I just showed that um, I was selling the alloys, which is part of the business I'm gonna talk about in the future video. So, I've been mentioning it a lot. Yep, that's just, you know, a way to promote it. <laughs> you need to watch it for sure, man. Alrighty, then um, here we are fighting the sunflower. I didn't really want to speed this combat because I want to show you guys that yeah I sometimes messed up because I'm pretty sure that I could mess up certain challenges and achievements frequently um, mostly because I don't really pay attention sometimes which annoys me but I try but also to show you this new method of um, fighting using both earth and fire because the hopper match starts to get really interesting and useful when you actually have more than one element um, to play with now talking about the SRAM it's the same because you have the trap, the fire trap that drags uh, monsters and then you have the AOE traps, they are earth focus on. So when you mix these elements, it's like you get the best results. Now talking about the Foggernaut, it's not really good at these levels to have multiple elements, but it served me well just because I could use fire against some monsters that were weak to this element and finally the echo flip was a really 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 worth it um, change because now I could use like uh, three or four spells instead of just using one which was great because I really needed to have uh, some kind of variety when talking about combat so here you have the combat I really hope you keep enjoying this ones and guys again 
I strongly need from you that you go on the comments, you let me know what you think, you let me know if you're enjoying this one, you let me know if you really wanna change something because I mentioned this before, this was my dream since I was a child, but it's also something for you, it's not just for me. I mean, I'm doing this for you because I've been there, I've been a YouTuber um, consumer, let's say, and um, every single time, as I mentioned before, that I saw a new YouTuber trying to grow up, especially talking about Minecraft or Dofus. I try to support him or her because I feel that this game is super underrated these days. It's one of the best games I've ever played and I know that there's better games like for example Skyrim or I don't know GTA man. But it's still really funny and you know that the opportunity is coming up early enough so it's gonna be here soon. So yeah, it's like uh, I really need your support to be able to, you know, stay here and keep my head up, you know, to, to really grow up as a channel. So yeah, let me know in your comments what do you think about this. And well, that was the video. I really hope you enjoy this content. I really hope you get to know me a little bit more and I hope you enjoy this combat. Yes sir, the last of the video. And that was it for the video guys. Remember please consider subscribing to the channel, smack that like button and please share this content to your friends if you really enjoyed it. Goodbye.